Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about VHS tapes and how to create digital copies of the content that are on your VHS tapes. Now you might be sitting at home wondering, now why in the world would I want to do that? I've got VHS tapes and I've got a VCR, why do I need digital copies? The main reason I think, first let me say, I'm not going to tell you to get rid of your VHS tapes and I'm not going to tell you to get rid of your VCR. The purpose of this video is some of you have VHS tapes like me that I just want a digital copy that I can throw on an external hard drive and at least have them backed up some kind of format. The other thing is some of these VHS tapes have home movies on them and while I can sit and watch them on my VCR, it sure be nice to have a digital uh, copy of that so I can put it on YouTube or share it with other family members. So what we're gonna do, first let me say, there's a lot of different videos out there. There's a lot of different softwares out there that allow you to do this. If you're cheap like me, we're gonna do this as cheap as possible. I will show you up front everything that you need and I'll tell you right now, it's gonna cost you about $50 if you wanna do it my way. Let me show you the items, we'll talk about them, and then I'm gonna put them all together and we're gonna show you how to create digital content. So the very first item that you need is going to be the hardest one to get and that is your VCR. Hopefully you still have your VCR so you can play your VHS tapes. You gotta have a VCR first and foremost. If you don't have it, Goodwill's a good place to look for them. You can find them usually at garage sales, but that's going to be the hardest item. The second item that you need is going to be an RCA audio video cable. Now, hopefully you've already got this. Everything I'm showing you, I'm gonna put a link to in the video. That's the other thing I'll tell you that's nice about my format. It's gonna cost you $50. Every item I show you is available on Amazon. I'm gonna give you the links. Download, I mean, download them. Buy them, try them out. If it doesn't work, send it back. You got 30 days to send them back. So you have nothing to lose by trying my way. The RCA uh, audio video cables, you should have anyway because that's what you needed before to connect your VCR to your TV to be able to play the content. There's no difference. You're gonna need these for this uh, video as well. These audio cables that I'm using, I paid $7.50 for on Amazon. Again, I'm gonna put links to all of these items in my um, video description. That's the first thing we need aside from our VCR. Let me just keep all these items here. The next thing you're going to need is what's called a RCA to HDMI converter box. This little gadget right here costs $14.50 on Amazon. Again, you can shop around. Maybe you can find it somewhere cheaper. Amazon was the cheapest place I found it. Uh, this is the next item that you're gonna need. I'm gonna show you all the items, then we're gonna put them all together and it's gonna make a little bit more sense. Aside from that, you're gonna need what's called a HDMI to USB video capture card. So all this is really doing is it's taking an HDMI end and it's going to allow you to plug that into a USB because we're gonna need this to plug it into our computer. Now, a lot of people are gonna be sitting out there and you're gonna say, well, wait a minute, do I really need all these items? Couldn't I just go U uh, HDMI straight to my HDMI input on my computer? I'm gonna tell you first and foremost, you can try whatever you want. If you follow my directions, it will work for you though. So I'm gonna tell you to buy all of these items and if you wanna try and do it without them, Go for it. I tried to do it without it. Believe me, I tried to do this as cheap as possible. I could never get it to work until I followed these steps here. Last but not least, we're gonna need an HDMI cord. Again, you probably have one of these laying around. If not, you can get one of the Amazon Basics for $6.50, put that link in there. Aside from those items, we are going to have to download a software on our computer called OBS Studio. Now, I know this is where a lot of people are gonna to wanna to turn off the video, OBS Studio is totally free. It's the main software that kids are using to broadcast their video games, live stream their content. A lot of um, radio broadcasters or YouTube broadcasters, this is software they use, totally free, no spyware, nothing like that. I'm gonna show you how to download that in a second. So we've got all of our items. Let's talk about what we need to do to hook them up. So, let's move our VHS tape. Let's take our VCR. The first thing is very simple. This step you can actually do on your TV first to make sure that it's working. But I'm gonna show you first and foremost, this is going old school, is if you're wanting to hook up your VCR to your TV. You've got your RCA audio uh, video cables. You're gonna go to the back of your VCR. Now some VCRs have inputs in the front. Usually you're gonna have to do this in the back of the VCR. We're gonna to go to the back of the VCR. We're gonna simply go 
white to white, red to red, yellow to yellow. Simple stuff. We've got our RCA audio video cables. Now you've got an open end here that in the old days you would plug into your TV and that's how you would watch your VCR. Instead of plugging it into our TV, we are going to plug it into this gadget right here, the RCA to HDMI converter. What this is doing is the same thing as on your TV. If you look at it, we've got a yellow, white, and red. We're gonna put the yellow to yellow, the white to white, and the red to red. Now, sorry, I'm gonna go as slow as possible on here. I know a lot of people who are probably watching this video might be an older generation, especially if you've still got a VCR, or you even know what a VCR is. So uh, being that there might be some computer issues or some tech issues, I'm gonna try and go as slow as possible on this. All we've done is we've connected our VCR to this little gadget. The other end of this gadget, you're gonna see has an HDMI in, and then it's got a USB power cable that comes with it. The USB power cable is pretty simple. It's got one end that's gonna plug in and another end that's gonna have a USB in. This you're going to need to plug into a wall outlet or your computer. This is the uh, end that's going to give this little gadget power. That's all it does. The other end of this, however, we are going to plug our HDMI cord into. So I'm gonna take my HDMI cord I'll plug it into this gadget. We've got an input that's our RCA uh, cable. We've got an output that is our HDMI. All it's doing is it's, it's taking our RCA data from our VCR and it's going to convert it to HDMI. The HDMI cord is going to send that information somewhere else. Where's it gonna send it to? It's gonna send it to our last gadget here, which is the RCA, uh, the HDMI video ca uh, capture card. We're gonna take the video capture card. Hopefully you can see this okay. It's got a HDMI in. We're gonna take our HDMI cord. We are gonna plug it into that input. And voila, we're all set. It's really not as complicated as you think. Before we get started, I wanted to mention this HDMI video capture card. You do not have to use this cable. All it is is an extension for you. If you don't use it, you can basically plug in this USB end into your computer. The reason they give you this extension piece is you look how big this is. If you've got USB ports next to each other, when you plug this in, it's going to cover up your second USB port. So they give you this extension piece to where you can basically put it on and instead use the extension. RCA cable from your VCR to your RCA to HDMI uh, input or capture card converter I should say. Then we've got a HDMI cable that's running from that to our HDMI video capture card. Now we're ready to go plug this all in. So we've got three things we're going to be plugging in. First and foremost we're going to plug in our VCR to a wall outlet to give it power. We're going to plug this little gadget in to any USB uh, port either on our computer or you can use a wall outlet. That's going to power this device. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this USB end into our computer. Again, to a different USB end. If you plug this into a USB end, you're gonna need a second one for this. If you only have one USB port on your computer, plug this one into a wall outlet. This one has to go into your computer. So now that we've got everything ready to plug in, let's plug it in and let's get on our computer. We're gonna go download OBS Studio and we're gonna see how we can view our uh, VHS content as well as record it if we wanted to record it. Okay, so we've plugged everything in. Now we're on our computer. This is where the fun starts. So as I mentioned before, you have to have some kind of software on your computer that can read the input from your VCR. There are various softwares out there. The one that I recommend is called OBS Studio. The website is OBS Project. Dot com. It is totally free. It is a open broadcast software. It is the industry standard for video recording and live streaming. It's also the easiest to use. There's not a free version and a paid version, and they're not going to try and sell you anything. There's no pop-ups. There's no spyware. It's just a simple open broadcast software. 
you can download this for Windows. If you've got a Windows computer, if you're an Apple user, you would choose the Mac OS version, or you can download it for Linux as well. So you're gonna download it to your computer, and then you're gonna go ahead and open OBS Studio. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I've got it on my computer. Now, when we go into OBS Studio, the first thing that I would recommend doing is if we go up to the menu bar at the very top, we're gonna to click File, we're gonna click Settings, and then we're gonna go into the Output section of Settings. Under the Output, there's a section called Recording Take note of this recording path. What this is telling you is if you decide to record in OBS Studio, when it builds that video file, this is going to be the location on your computer that that file will be stored at. If you don't like the location, you can simply choose the Browse button over here and change it. A lot of people will go in, get all excited, hit Start Recording, and then they can't figure out where their files are at. This is what it's telling you is where your those are. That's where your files are going to be. If you look in mine, you'll see that it's going to an external hard drive. You don't have to download it to your computer. If you've got an external hard drive plugged in like I do, you can send it there if you'd rather do that. These video files can be rather large. If you're going to put in a whole VHS tape and record the whole thing, they can get up to 20 gigs in size. So that's why it might be a good idea to think about the external hard drive option. The other thing you might want to check is the recording format. Different people like different formats. I've got mine set to MP4, but if you want to change to a different format, you can simply choose the format that you want from the recording format list. That's really all you need to worry about in OBS Studio settings. I'm gonna click OK. Now OBS Studio can do a whole lot of things. There's a lot of things you can change, but for purposes of the VHS tapes, I think that's all we're gonna need to worry about. At this point, what I would recommend is turn your VCR on, put a tape in and go ahead and hit play. You're not gonna see anything, you're not gonna hear anything, but it's gonna make this next step a little bit easier. We're gonna go add our source. So down here, there's a section called sources. You'll see it says you don't have any sources. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play on my VCR. I'm gonna click the add button. There's gonna be a listing of sources to choose from. The one that you want is video capture device. It's gonna come up with a window. It's gonna say, do you wanna create a new one or use an existing one? You can simply click OK. If you wanted to rename your source, you could, but for, you, for this purpose, you don't need to. This will probably be the only source you're using. So just click OK. It's going to bring up a window. It's going to say, what are the properties of this source? All you need to do here is change the device. It's usually going to point to your web camera. Change it to USB video. If you've got everything plugged in right, at this point, you should be seeing what is on your VHS tape that is playing in your VCR. That's why I was saying have a tape playing because you'll know that you're pointing at the right spot. Go ahead and click OK if you're seeing it. And now we are sitting on our computer watching the VHS tape that is playing in our VCR. Let's take a break for just a second. If you were successful and you can see your VHS content, this would be a great time to thank me by clicking the subscribe button on my channel and giving me a like on this video. It helps me to get my video out there to other viewers who are trying to hook up their VCR just like you. So thanks for the subscription and the like. You'll notice that we don't hear any sound, but if you look down here at the mic auxiliary, you can see that there's sound that it's reading. So what's cool with OBS Studio is you can actually record. It will record the sound and the audio, and you don't have to listen to it. You can be on your computer doing work stuff. You can be on a conference call and recording all of your VHS tapes, and nobody will know it because there's not going to be any sound that's playing. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and click start recording over on the right side under controls. You'll see there's a section down here that shows it is recording. And you'll see when we play back this file, even though I'm talking and doing all this stuff on the computer, the only thing we'll be hearing is what's recording on our VHS tape. In the event that you're like, hey, wait a minute, that's great, but I wanna sit and watch my VHS tapes and listen to them while I'm watching, you can simply choose this gear icon. Let me go ahead and stop this recording. Just so, we'll, just so I can prove to you all that you will get your sound. But if you click on this gear icon under the audio mixer section, choose advanced audio properties. And then for the section for mic auxiliary, change the audio monitoring from monitor off to monitor and output. Once you do that- Now we know who's in charge. You will hear the sound from your VHS, as hey, well as be able to see what's playing on the VHS. Have you ever ridden in a time machine before? Well, sure, yeah. At this Boy, point, I'm going to go ahead and hit stop yeah. on my VCR. You'll notice that I can see the stop. It's pointing at your VCR. So anything you do on your VCR, you're going to be seeing it in OBS Studio. 
at this point I'm going to go ahead and close OBS Studio and I'm going to show you something else. Let's go look at the file that it recorded. So I'm going to that same directory that we had earlier. There's my video file. I'm going to open it just like any other video file and play it. Thank you. Are you going to shoot me? No, hell no. Me and you're a friend. You'll notice that the quality is very good. The audio is good. There's no lag, anything like that. And more than anything, it's a regular video file that we can save, load on YouTube, email, put it on Facebook, do whatever you want to do with it. Now you've got your VHS tape in a format that's a little bit easier to share or use. What I wanted to mention about OBS Studio that's nice is now that we've created our source, I'm going to go ahead and open OBS Studio again. The next time you go into OBS Studio, you don't have to do all that stuff again. It remembers your settings from before. I can simply go in, put a new tape in, hit play on my VCR, Looking at this thing, Bass and Accurate. I'm ready to go. This is a 20th century time machine. I hope this video helps. If you go through these steps and it works for you, I hope you'll give me a like on the video and maybe think about subscribing to my channel. I don't like asking for likes and subscriptions, but the more likes I get, the more that this video gets out and can maybe help somebody else. If you've got questions, if you run into problems, post comments in the video. I'll try and help you out and that helps out other people that come along and have the same problem. They've got a reference to look at. Thanks for watching. Enjoy watching your VHS tapes.